Yeah. My fellow beer friends, good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you are. I want to, you know, calmly drop this to our people to ponder because uh, there are so many things that have been going on since all this uh, issue of uh, our leader you know started let me put this camera away uh, what i want to say here today i think uh, when i finish is left for all of you you know to ponder and ask questions and reflect whatever i'm going to say here today is what based on the truth the information available to everybody if you are interested to know you know if you are not interested to know it's up to you uh, we all have our minds we all have our beliefs we all have our ways of thinking the topic i wrote here is that mazin namdekan our leader he knows those that sold him our leader knows those that sold him and from dss custody if you know mazin namdekan you must have known that he has even sent out the information out from that deal dss custody to us that are outside for us to understand you know what really happened and those that we are involved in selling him i'm going to shock most of you today and this video please when you see it you are watching it share it i want you to share it share this message because some of us that are gatekeepers we don't come out to talk we are not on social media we are not uh, social media influencers things will be happening we will keep quiet we'll take time to ponder gather information gather evidences you know before we can come out to speak so today i'm going to shock some of you whatever i'm going to say whatever i'm going to drop here whether it's ipob the leadership DOS, Bia France, keep this video, save it. I say save this video. Our leader will come out very soon. I say very, very soon. Some of you will be shocked the speed that our leader is going to come out. All oh, this is going to court and this and blah, blah, blah. One month, uh, we are going to do one month sit at home. <laughs> My drug government will never never allow us to sit at home for one month because they know they can we can do that we are capable the economy of nigeria today is we bear france is in our hands it's in our hands we can decide to shut down the entire nigeria from north to south there is no place in nigeria that we bear france we don't control even that the abuja we are talking of one month sit at home Maybe in Biafra land. Okay. But what if, if DOS come and change the order and say, listen, all the Biafrans, wherever you live in the whole of Nigeria, shut down your business. Now, I want to take us to down the memory lane. Before our leader was kidnapped, go and listen to his last broadcast. And then after that last broadcast, he disappeared. We didn't know where he was. He wasn't talking until after some, you know, weeks, we learned that he was kidnapped in Kenya and brought into Nigeria. Now, when he was brought into Nigeria, some of you that have been attacking DOS from day one, most of you, you know me, have appeared in most of your programs. I've called in most of your programs, all the media warriors of Biafra. Even our brother Simon Ekpa have appeared on his programs a couple of times. So uh, it's not that my face, you can say you don't know my face. You know my face. Now, when our leader was brought into Nigeria, 
the way things operate in IPOB is DOS cannot come and make statement without hearing from our leader. They must wait until they get information from our leader before they will come to speak to Biafrans. That's why some of you, when all these shenanigans were going on, what did you do? You turned around to start attacking DOS. DOS is Mazin Namdekan. Mazin Namdekan is DOS. You cannot separate the two. Any attack on DOS is an attack on Mazin Namdekan directly, whether you like it or not. It's a fact. If you say you're a Biafran and you know how IPOB operates, you should have known that you dare not attack DOS, not for one single minute. Some of you, your private forums, in your platforms, I called you privately. I begged him, all of you privately to tell you stop attacking DOS. Some of you, you laughed at me, you cursed me, you shouted at me, and blah, blah, blah. Conclusive now, all of you have returned back to that same advice I gave all of you, that initial stage. Now our leader was abducted, kept in DSS custody. DOS had to wait until the solicitor, Barrister Joffo, have contact with our leader. Then he will relate every information to them. And to you, dear friends, it's not every information that DOS got from our leader that they will come and tell you people. Because there are things they will say. Some of you, even in diaspora, you will, you will decide to even to kill people in diaspora and go to prison. Those who are involved in kidnapping our leader, in sabotaging him, in selling him out to the enemy. The DOS, they are what you call classified information. They kept those ones to themselves. Only them knows. Even DOS, they know. They kept calm. Now, along the line, the first information that came out from our leader was our brother Simon Epa to broadcast on Radio Biafra to have a slot. All of you know how that one ended because of signing uh, what do you call it a uh, code of conduct he said he's not going to sign it now uh, there are questions i'm going to ask our brother Ekpa, say he's a what do you call it mazunan the Kano's disciple how does a disciple operate to show that he is loyal to his master all of you, you carry Bible. You are Bible students. You know how to quote the Bible. You know how to show us how righteous and how spiritual you are. But yet, that same Bible, Jesus Christ, go and check all his disciples. The sons of Zebedee, James, John, Peter, all of them. The one he sees, they are fishing. They are doing their business. They have their platform doing their business. He will look at them and say, you, follow me. What did they do? They left all what they are doing. They left their platform, left their business, and started following that person. That's Jesus Christ. Now, there are people in this struggle that are truly true disciples of Mazin Namdekan that left their own businesses. I know more than 50 people that left their businesses in Senegal, in Gambia, in London, here where I live, in other places to go home to follow our leader to show him that they are really his disciples now how can somebody say because of platform he cannot give away his platform to show loyalty to the same leader he said he's a disciple to it perplexes me you see no matter how ever anybody thinks or believes about our leader's abduction and what has been going on on social media. DOS, when they say something, whatever you hear from the mouth of DOS, that thing is coming direct from who? Our leader. DOS don't come make up their mind to say something out of the blues. No, because there are a lot of people, there are up to 40 people, DOS, Directorate of States, they are the governing body, the engine that is driving this agitation. When our leader is not there, DOS takes over.
and they will not announce without getting information from our leader. Now, that first one about broadcasting on Radio Biafra and not broadcasting, at the end of it, our brother said, no, he's not going to broadcast. They ended it, returned the information to our leader. Our leader said, no problem. Second thing again, the whole thing continued underground. Some of you, you have had now revelations from FA, from the media warriors. They gave money, Nelly of Febu and her gang in America, how they planned even forged documents to open account, to take over everything about IPOB, to hijack IPOB. All of you heard from China Samuru, his revelation on Radio Biafra, how that same Nelly approached him for him to take over leadership in IPOB. How can China Samuru, a noble man, I know too well, a very, very noble man, those people in DOS, you people, I was really disappointed when some of you were attacking them for nothing. For nothing. Because somebody, the same people that were attacking DOS, the same people that came on Simon Epa platform, Nelly, I remember the first day she came there to pour all this rubbish. I was begging our brother Epa. I say I knelt down more than 20 times. I am kneeling, begging you, please, cut this woman off. Cut this woman off, Marzi. Cut this woman off. She will cause a lot of damage. She will cause a lot of trouble. What she was saying, they were all lies. He ignored me. He laughed. He knows me too well. We do discuss privately. What did he do? He laughed over it. That woman poured out. That was the first day. If you go and check, that was the first time Biafrans started attacking DOS. Started attacking Barista Joffo out of what Nelly Ofebu said from her mouth on Samuel Nepal's platform. That was what people took along and started shouting, Oh, DOS sold our leader, our leader, this and that and that, blah, 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 they are not working, blah, 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 blah. That one ended. Now, the same Nelly Ofebu and her gang are the same people that forged documents in America. They are the same people. They transferred money, about $20,000, to Kenya around May this year. The question remains, there we have the documents about that transfer. They are the ones who transferred that money to Kenya. To who? They are the ones who knows that our leader was in Kenya. They are the ones who have information about our leader's movement in Kenya. You people heard that, oh, our leader was, went, came to the airport to pick up somebody. You didn't ask, whom did our leader came to the airport to pick? Who? That's what all of you heard. <laughs> but the story is even more than whatever any of you must have heard or thought or believed. Now our leader was abducted. You see, the people who sold our leader, I will say it here today, and I will repeat it. I say, share this video, keep this video. You see Nelly Ofebu and her co, all those women, and uh, the, your, our brother, Epa. He is 100% involved he cannot escape it he can say whatever he wants to say posturing his a uh, ipob member there is no record of him in finland he doesn't attend meeting he told you people he took an oath where the oath cannot be traced if i were him i would have long oh no oath i will take oath me talking to you i've taken oath even more than i can't even remember how many times if i go to forum People like Acholugo, ask her. She uh, even put out on me again. More than, I've taken it more than 20 times. You know why? Because I have nothing to fear. And I can never sabotage Biafran restaurant. Because I know what I have sacrificed personally to make sure that our people are free. I know. So why should I sabotage what I have sacrificed a lot? even blood, even life. 
to build. No. All these things continued all along. Our brother, there is a question I want to put here so that all of you will ponder it. Nelly went to China Samuru and asked him to take over the leadership of IPOB. China Samuru said, no, who are you? Uh, Chike Dezemi is there. Nelly, the same Nelly, ran to Simon Epa. The same deal he handed over, he wanted to give to China Samuru. He took it to Epa. Epa accepted it. And was post sorry because he felt he has built a, a followership. Followership, some of us helped him to build. I'm just, the, the reason why I'm laughing is because there are things he has said on that his, on the, his platform. We keep records. We keep records. And those records, <laughs> you see, when people, you see, ego, arrogance, mixed up with, you know, what will I call it? When somebody feels maybe he's more learned than others, or he's more wiser, more educated, more whatever than other people, that's ego. Because humility is a virtue. Now, the second trial our leader did to Simon Epa from DSS to check, to prove his, that his loyalty to Mazen Namdekano, he claimed he's the disciple of Mazen Namdekano. The second thing our leader did was what? Remember the time Barista Jofo and the junior brother of our leader went to see him? The junior brother came out. Simon Epa on his platform, he posted it and said, oh, that our leader said he is going to be giving him topics to be broadcasting on his platform from DSS custody. Now, the question I will ask all of you is, why has our leader not given Simon Epa any topic to broadcast on his platform? Because number one, the last thing, you see, what our leader hates is number one, insubordination. Number two, code of conduct or say there is rules there is law you want to bend it to favor others and then others will do a different thing no we are not building a biafra of uh, maybe another uh, janja with the nigeria no we are building a biafra whereby everybody will stay under the same obey the same law the same constitution applicable to even the president to the least person in society that's the type of Biafra we want to build. So, the second trial was what? He is going to be giving topics. Now, why can't you people ask Simon Epa, our brother, say, brother, you told us that our leader will be giving you topics from DSS to be broadcasting on your platform. Why hasn't he done that? Since all this why, for most now, why he hasn't done that? That one. You know why? You know why, dear friends? Keep this video, share it, record it, save it somewhere. Our leader will come out. And whatever I will say today, when our leader comes out and he says things and he becomes almost what I'm saying here, well, you people will know who is a liar or who is a, a, a baby true disciple of Mazin Namdekan. He is not going to have anything to do with you see, all those people that we are expelled from IPOB, expulsion is expulsion forever. Now, when somebody, you know this person have done this thing, these are the people we know because there are traces, there are proofs, there are evidence that have handed our leader over to Nigerian government and now they want to come from back to hijack IPOB. Even the queue, they plotted and they executed it and announced it. It was on Simon Ekwa platform, not in any other platform. And he was there. He never condemned them. He never shouted them and said, no, you can't use your platform to perpetrate a queue to announce to the whole world that you are taking over IPOB, DOS, that people should not listen to Radio Biafra, not listen to DOS again. But he was there. He laughed. He enjoyed it. The next day, Nelly of Febu circulated all those fatwa, nonsense she wrote, that they have taken over. And the same night, the same evening, 
our brother Simon Ekwa came on his platform and told us he will continue supporting them. He will continue working with Nelly of Fable that was expelled from IPOB. That there is every proof, I say one million percent to prove that Nelly of Fable and Co. sold our leader and started creating all those nonsense to attack DOS, to attack Kanonta. To attack Nenayanya, to attack the Nenayanya, some of you we are because you had a, uh, this one said Nenayanya is having ESL money. ESL money does not go to Germany, I live in the UK. ESL money goes to America. Even all those fundraising. If not, you see Nenayanya, she has been with our leader for over maybe 10 years or 12 years, gone through the hard times. Gone through the trial times, tested. So if he is to eat money now, she will eat money or to support Tajbaz in Namdekan. For what? But those are the story they created. Created by who? Nelly of Fable paid some of our media warriors. They were pushing that narrative. Pushing that narrative. When they saw that narrative couldn't hold water again, they moved to DOS to attack DOS. The same Nelly of Fable on the same night. After ranting all those things, she came back the next day to apologize to DOS, to apologize to Barrister Joffo, but the damage has already been done. It has already been done. How do you retrieve it? Then people went haywire, attacking DOS. Oh, they don't know what they are doing. Oh, they are this. Oh, they are that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. They are weak. They are this. The same DOS that came and gave sit at home order. And be friends worldwide obeyed it. Those are the people you are attacking. That they sold Mazin Namdekano. Why the people who sold Mazin Namdekano are those people that are attacking DOS, that planned this queue and they executed it. Ask questions. Why our leader did not give EPA topics? To broadcast on his platform why why is because our leader will come out and he will never never in this life have anything to do with epa simon epa you he is not good you can say whatever you want to say on it that your platform you can continue ranting from tomorrow till eternity about ipob when they give order, you take it there, go and change whatever. Give your counter order or do whatever. It doesn't make it change anything. Number one, your membership is questionable. You are in Finland. It is, you said it with your mouth. That how can you go and register with this uh, stupid uh, idiot, uh, the coordinator? Why that coordinator has been there since 2014? You've been living in Finland. Doing your thing. Doing your politics with Nigeria. And then somebody who have labored for IPOB since 2014, all of a sudden, because you think you have large platform, you use it, you know, for you people to paint him black. The your little faction, they go and record whatever you bring on your platform to play, to say, oh, those ones are the IPOB members in Finland. Forget those things. The truth remains that our lady is not going to have anything to do with you again. Make your... You better understand that. Mazin Namdekano hates, you see, lowering standard. He built IPOB to this level before some of you jumped in last year during COVID-19 lockdown under command and control. That command and control means what? Don't ask questions because we are in a war. This is freedom fighting. The same Simon Epa is telling you, Biafran, he has something with Onion Do. He has nothing with Onion Do. Me, Mazichukwe Meke is a Jimado. He's saying it. He has nothing. Absolutely nothing. He had no meeting with Onion Do secretly for Onion Do to give him a special assignment for him to tell us he is autonomous in IPOB. There is nothing called autonomy. In IPOB, under Mazin Namdekano, all those catchphrases, you know, to keep you people, you know, listening to whatever he says, because there is nothing he's going to do on his platform or say 
that Mazin Namdekano have never even given Biafrans or his listeners worldwide those information. So there is nothing new. Now he's saying that we'll bring Biafra for us. No. He's, we are getting Biafra under what? Mazin Namdekano and DOS. So, why not ask yourself, how could somebody, you say you're Mazin Namdekano's disciple, you cannot sacrifice nothing, I mean nothing, to show your loyalty to die your master, Mazin Namdekano. You were asked to sign code of conduct to have a slot on Radio Biafra. You said, no, you're not going to sign it. You were not a member of IPOB in Finland. It's on record. Your oath, you are claiming you took oath. Who administered oath to you? You never told Biafrans. You just came, boo booed and did covered up. Because you know you cannot take the oath to do what you have done. Because if you do it, you see people like us, I am older than you, even my children are the same age with you. More learned than you. I personally will take you on in the spirit realm if you really have any spiritual inclination to get rid of you. Because the damage you use your platform to cause in IPOB is unquantifiable. Mazen Namdekano is so angry in DSS custody. He then you. You have done so much damage from that your platform that because Mazen Namdekano say, oh, be friends, listen to this one also. Then our people started listening to you. Then you built your platform. I've sent super chats to you. Severally. You pocket it. And yet you tell us with your mouth, how can you pay monthly dues to that, the person you say idiot, the coordinator in Finland, as if that coordinator, you are paying money to him. No. If truly you are fighting to restore Biafra, you can rant and do whatever you say you like. You should have humbled yourself, gone to the guy, register with them, take the oath, start paying your dues. You don't. He's on record. Mazen Namde cannot tried you with two things while he was in DSS custody for you to prove that you are truly a disciple of him. You failed woefully. The reason why Mazen Namdekano will never, Mazen Namdekano I know, I've known him for more than maybe 30 years or 40 years, will never give you any topic. Even your issue is already marked X on his mind. You see, in IPOB, the slogan is IPOB, one family, one family, IPOB, not IPOB, Autonomous. Autonomous IPOB. It doesn't happen. If you love Mazen Namdekano and IPOB, obey their commandments. There are commandments. There are lay down rules. You have to follow. It's not about coming to social media to boo boo people, you know, to pass manga. Oh, there is, I have special thing with our leader. I go to his heart to take. Stop it to broker. Why are you not taking topics from his heart? Why he's in DSS custody? And yet on your platform, you plan the queue, execute the queue. Nearly of Facebook brought the deal to you to take over IPOB, to be the new leader. You have agreed, accepted it. And was working with Nelly of Facebook. At the end of it, have you people taken over IPOB? The answer is what? No. Have you come to apologize, even if you, you thought it was a mistake? No, but rather you came to tell us, to throw it back on us, people like us, that you continue working with Nelly of Febu. So whom are you representing? Who? You are representing Mazin Namnikano that gave order for Nelly to be expelled from IPOB because he knows those are the people that sold him. To Nigerian government. Those are the people that forged signature of Mazen Namdekano in America to open an account so that they can collect all the money 
meant for ESN. Even the ESN account is in their custody in America, not in Germany, with Nenayanya, as they told you people. Let me tell you people, please, dear friends, some of you that have known me, you follow me, you know me, that I have brought to somewhere, because you saw me, I appeared on some programs. You come there, maybe on Simon Equa platform, I brought you people there. Because today, Please, oh, run away. Don't say, oh, Mazi, you are the one who made us to go there. I say, please, oh. I am out for a long time, even before this thing started. I am out. It's up to you. I am not telling you whom to follow, not to follow, or whom to listen to, and not to listen to. But I am begging you people, those whom I have brought to some platform, you know, please, I'm out. It's up to you to be there or to continue or whatever, please. But be sh rest assured, like I've said, Mazin Namdekano knows the people who sold him. He knows them. Nelly of Fable with her co in America and Simon Ekpa. Those are the people that sold Mars in Namdekano. Simon Ekpa, whether you like it or not, till tomorrow, she keep shouting, oh, Biafra, oh, this, oh, that, oh, blah, 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 blah. You are not a member of IPOB. You are not under no oath. You can talk rubbish. Oh, you took oath. You took oath with who? You have something special with our leader. What do you have with him? Nothing. Mazin Namdekano can never tell you to go and do autonomous in IPOB. Never. I say never. He would never tell you, oh, go up to between. So why? If he wants you to be autonomous, he only tried you while he's in, in DSS custody for you to be taking a slot to broadcast on Radio Biafra. But you use the, you claim that your platform, you will lose it. No. You still have your platform because they will give you login details. You will use your platform and be broadcasting if you, from your bro uh, platform in Finland. You don't need to go nowhere. You still keep your platform. But you say, no, you're not going to sign the code of conduct. And the information was relayed back to our leader. He said, okay, no problem, leave him. He came with the second one. He is going to be giving you topic to be broadcasting on your platform. You said it, you told us. So where is that topic? Has he given you any topics since then? You see, you cannot come and jump into something you did not know how it was built. You disparage everybody, you talk down on a fair, you talk down on Biafran, on considered authority, on you know, the principal officer there, the coordinator, those are people that Mazen Namdekano, he has been working with them for years, some 10 years, 12 years, 9 years, 13 years. All of a sudden, you appeared just, just last year during COVID-19 lockdown to start talking of, uh, oh, Biafra, uh, Mazen Namdekano, uh, this and that and that. Blah, 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 blah. And then to attract viewers, our leader tried you just to, on two things. You failed, but you say you are smart, you are intelligent. You made yourself look like, a, you know, the most stupid person I've ever seen on earth. Like I said, I have children that are the same age or even older than you. But I still look fine, isn't it? Yeah. More learned than you. But I laid down to beg you. Say, cut nearly your favor the first day you brought her on your program. Let me tell you, because you see, we keep records. We keep records. We keep records. Since our leader was abducted and DOS, they will come to Radio Biafra to give announcement have any of you 
I say all of you, both Simon Epa, Biafra Media Warriors, and all of you have, that have been shouting Biafra, Biafra, the due for once, anytime DOS comes to Radio Biafra to give speech, do you use your platform to A it or to share it? Like the way you normally do when our leader was outside. None. All of you. All of you that collected money from Nelly of Fable to attack DOS because Nigerian government gave the money, they throw it around. When you at, they attack the media, which is the media that we, they use to gather people, with the media, once you get the media, then what is remaining? DOS. They also attack DOS. Now, there has never been one single second there is any issue in IPOB leadership. Not for one minute. The whole saga, the whole problem, the whole shenanigans came from where? One source. Even Simon Epa said it with his mouth. That the whole problem is coming out from where? Finland. By who? Him. So, the coordinator in Finland for him is a nobody. DOS, they are nobody. Even Simon Epa, let me tell you. Go and listen to your words. Go and listen to your own video. From your own mouth, you confirm that you are involved in selling Mazen Namdekanu to Nigerian government. With your own mouth. Go and check one of your videos some days ago. Do you know what he said? Because in your head, secretly you make phone calls with Nelly them. Arrange with them. They come on your platform to execute that queue. Did it work? It never worked. Some few days ago, on your platform, you are talking about as if the hot or uh, Darlington advise you don't do counter order. When do you give counter order? You used must. You must sit at home Monday and Tuesday. You came as usual because you think you're more learned than every other person. To say, no, 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 what is most? They don't understand what you say. This and that and that and that. You are not giving counter order. Uh, my brother, when you say you must sit at home Monday and Tuesday, must, that word must, is a command word, is an order. Maybe you learn this one today. So, whatever you do, Whatever you say on your platform, I will advise you. The earlier you start avoiding, you see, speaking about Mazen Namdekano, IPOB, uh, DOS, and this and that on your platform, I think it will help you better. It will help you better for your information. Our leader knows. You, Simon Epa, Nelly of Fable, those group of people that did that cure on your platform, sold him. You, Simon Epa, you confirmed it two, some days ago. On your platform, you were angry. You were talking, oh, these and that, blah, 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 uh, the, blah, 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 blah. That even the DOS, if truly they know what they are doing, how can they be there? Their leader was, uh, you know, captured. Like uh, this thing, you know, disgracefully and held for eight days without their knowledge. You know, you know the date, the minute our leader was abducted. You've been doing all those things. The other time you say something to Nigerian government, oh, you are making it an offer, Nigerian government will not refuse. That if they move our leader from DSS to Correctional Center, that you will give up the agitation for Biafra. Really? <laughs> really? The disciple of Mars in Abdukano. Sometimes you say things, I laugh. Because in age, I'm older than you. Education wise, oh, oh boy, you know rich. So leave all those, your shenanigans. I've pleaded with you. I knelt down, begged you. More than 20 something times, cut this woman off. This woman is evil. 
The first day, I don't know Nelly. I've never met her. I don't even know whether he, such a person existed. I laid down for 20 times, begging you, cut this one up. You will say you don't, you can't say you don't know me. You know me. I've appeared on your program. We've discussed things privately. You saw my destiny. You laughed. <laughs> you allowed it because you felt you, you have arrived. Let me tell you, Mazin Namdekan will never have anything to do with you in life. You're a wreck. A mess. You see, you, you, you th you're intelligent. We waited, thinking that when Nelly was expelled, we were waiting, thinking that you will come to your platform and say, okay, please, uh, be friends, uh, DOS, forgive me, oh, I made a mistake. I didn't even know this is what these women are up to. Oh, I, it was a mistake they, they coming on my platform because you, you people have planned it and they executed it. You allow them, you people made phone calls day, days earlier before you brought them to your platform. So you cannot say you are hosting people and you people never discussed it. No. Planned, executed on your platform. And you never said a word. You never said, no, you can't do this queue on my platform. You enjoyed it. You, you know, because you don't arrive. Oh boy. You don't get uh, followers. Whatever you tell Biafra, they will obey. They will follow you. And your media, you know, rats all over. And when people talk about you, they will come and attack the person. Where are you people? Why not come and, uh, come and attack me? Where are you people? Simon Epa followers and media warriors. Where are you? Come to here and attack me. You cannot come. Because if you come and write something, you see this? You see this? I will look the name and finish that person in the next 24 hours. You can't try it. All of you that conspired and sold Mas and Namdekano, it will never be well with all of you. Mark my word. Mark my word this day. Because that man is there suffering because of you and me. That man Mazin Namdekano, he sacrificed his mother, his father, his sister. Men and women have lost their lives for this struggle. And you think you can just come from nowhere last year to jump into IPOB, use your platform to disrespect IPOB leadership, the engine room that they are working night and day tirelessly. To bring this struggle to this level. You think you can come from nowhere. Jump in. Start attacking them. To take over leadership of IPOB. You are nobody. You are nobody. And you will never. You will remain nobody. It will shock you. It's from me. Telling you. Remember. I warned you. Simon Epa, I warned you. I warned you. You cannot say, you can't deny that me, Mazi Chukwe Meka, Ezeji Mado, that I never warned you. I warned you. I stood, I knelt down with my knees. You are not God. Because I know the damage what that woman was about to spill on your platform is going to cause. You claim you you are in the spirit. Oh, you see things. You see nothing. Number one, you don't know Mazin Namdekano and his mindset. For you to be a true disciple of Mazin Namdekano, you must understand the mindset. How Mazin Namdekano thinks. What he hates most with passion. The things he hates. Number one, see and see. Command and control. Because that was the Secret what he used to build the IPOB from scratch to where it is today. People are jumping in, oh, talking Biafra, this, that, agitation, this, and that. It's not about, oh, don't worry, this our brother is also saying something, you know, that is good. No. An enemy inside is more dangerous, you see, than even the Fulani, because Fulani, we can checkmate them. But not somebody who will come. You know, posture themselves as uh, they are Mazin Namdekano disciple, and yet the damage they are causing 
is unquantifiable. If truly you love Mazin Namdekan, if truly you are a true disciple, when he gave you that first test, oh, start broadcasting on Radio Biafra, taking a slot. There are people who broadcast there for years. They signed the same code of conduct. Mazin Namdekan broadcasting on Radio Biafra, signed the same code of conduct. So who are you that you cannot sign it? Who? Because you have your interior motive. You know what you are doing because you think you are smart. You are a solicitor. LLM, na Finland. Carry that certificate. Come to London. We will teach you, start teaching you the basics of what? Law. You mess yourself up. It's not about blah, 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 blah. People come on social media. They rant. They do things. They do whatever. I ask you, what type of Biafra? You say you're learned. You want us to build. What type of Biafra? A Biafra whereby if there is a law for everybody, another person will say no. He is not going to sign it because of a one stupid, nonsensical, baseless reason. Those things are the things that Roma is in the kind of mad. That's why he call you people. You even uh, in the zoo, animals. You live in Finland. You go to places. There is law. You sign those law. You obey those law. There are undertakings. You sign them. You don't bring in your personal, you know, interest or personal agenda. No, it's a law. Constituted authority. And you must submit yourself to constituted authority. There is nothing you can tell or say till tomorrow. You are saying it outside the constituted authority that makes any sense to Mazen Nam the Kano. Dear in DSS custody, what hurts him most is you, Simon Epa, what you did to him. You stabbed him at the back. You sabotaged him, you sold him out. To the enemy and yet you are posturing oh you are talking about biafra oh uh, uh, you have done well what have you done what have you said on that your platform as in i have not even said over 10 years ago uh, 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 five years ago uh, 30 years ago nothing so all those uh you know shenanigans i personally i was highly disappointed in you mainly simon Eba. With all those things, you never came to apologize to Biafrans, to DOS, to the same Mazin Nam de Kano, that, oh, maybe it was a mistake, or you did not know what happened, oh, you brought those women, they made a, you, you made a mistake to bring them on your platform. But now it's on record that your platform was used. You used it to do what? To perpetrate a queue against IPOB leadership. To perpetrate a queue to take over IPOB from Mazin Namdekano. To perpetrate a queue to take over DOS. To destroy IPOB completely. And make for them to kill Mazin Namdekano. Because once they captured, you people captured DOS and destroyed IPOB. Well, they will just kill Mazin Namdekano. Who will fight for him again? That was what you people did. Exactly what you people did. I say save this video. I'm not a DOS member. I'm just a gatekeeper. I'm not. For your information, whatever I've said here today is what Elohim have revealed to me. Weeks before I begged you, nail down more than 20 times to beg you, I've cut this one off. You said no. After spilling those garbage, the next day she came back to apologize. But the damage has already been done. You people carried it along. And all of you, Biafra Media Warriors, all of you that collected money, you see, from Nelly of Febu to attack DOS, we also have your records. Omote has, she has come to apologize, to exonerate herself. She will sleep peacefully going forward. And her apology, we have accepted it. But all of you that are quiet, 
trying you can bring another pro program to be doing, you know, to cover the damage you caused. And all of you, I called you people privately to tell you people, stop attacking DOS. Stop attacking DOS. DOS is Mazin Namdekano. Mazin Namdekano is DOS. You cannot separate the two. All of you. Now, maybe your eyes are cleared now, Abi. It's cleared. And you want to shove, cover it. Your sins. Your atrocities. Still be coming out on your platforms to shout out Biafra. Imagine uh, Namdekano to bring him out. This and that. All those you're ranting on social media doesn't make move anything. The people who are doing the real job to make sure our lady is released unconditionally. DOS. DOS. Not you people, all of you on social media. Ranting. Simon Ekba, this one, all of you. None of you. There is nothing any of you can say there. The power. The strategy. Is with DOS. And DOS, I will tell you people. I thank, thank God you people are also... Oh, God bless you for cutting Madame Eriwa off. Just, I like what you did to suspend her because she was the weakest link. Lady, they manipulated to be getting secret information from DOS meetings to go and hand over Simon Epa. That was how they planned it. But I thank God that you people were able to, you know, put a tab on all those nonsense. So if anybody is coming about talking about Mazin Namdekano, this and that and that, blah, 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 blah. Just go and sit down. You don't know Mazin Namdekano. You don't know his mindset. You don't know the way he thinks. You don't know the way he operates. If you know the way he operates, most of you would have decoded this long ago. Long ago. So, Epa. When are you going to get topic from our leader, from DSS custody? What went wrong? Why is he not giving you topic? But you said it to Biafra. You posted it on your wall. You know the reason? <laughs> he tried you the first time to know whether you truly his disciple Truly what he knows that you are among the people that sold him is true or not. He said, go and broadcast on Radio Biafra. Take a slot. <laughs> you dodge that one you, you because you think you are smart. Oh, good of conduct. You can't sign it. Blah, blah, blah. You can't lose your platform. Who say you lose your platform when you broadcast on Radio Biafra? You don't lose nothing. Rather, you are taking super chat from people, putting it in your pocket. You don't pay... Monthly dues. You don't support IPOB financially. Rather, you take from them to enrich yourself, to come and pose. Oh, Mazin Namdekano. Oh, this and that and that. When uh, DOS give a um, sit at home order, suspend it. You change your own because you think you have a whatever. When have you gathered the people to go outside to go and protest? At least you people, you saw me in London protest. In Sima TV. I think one of the Best interviews people think of all time. It's a classic. Go to Sima TV, go on and listen to see it. During the protest, you that love Mazin Namdekan, have you organized one protest? One. I say one. Outside. You come on social media more than 30 times every day. Because you're maybe you talk, 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 or somebody will send a super chat. You collect, you put it in your pocket. And you are telling us, no, you cannot. Why can you go to pay monthly dues to that uh, uh, rubbish? You know, you call the, a coordinator, principal officer, that is a, a kerosene, he's not, he's a kerosene seller. An insult. Somebody, Mazin Namdekano, you know, put there, organize that Finland. For years, you were there. You never joined them. Just last year. Because of frustration of COVID-19, you jumped into IPOB. They told you, take oath, join the family, 
take oath. No, you didn't take it. You swapped it. You people conspired now, our leader. You handed him over to Zoo. You people planned now, you know, to take over APOB. Executed a queue on your platform. And yet, you're coming still to talk about uh, Mazenam Nekano, uh, this and that, sit at home, blah, 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 blah. You better just go back, go home. Just lock your door. Cover yourself in shame. Mazen Namdekano will never, you see, in this life, he's coming out soon, he will never say to phone call from you. Talk less of saying hello to you. Because they are in DSS custody. The only heart he's having is people like you. What you are doing to what he labored over the years to build, to what he sacrificed everything to build. You are sabotaging it. You cannot be under DOS. You are autonomous. Who told you there is anything called autonomous in IPOB? Who told you? Oh, you have special thing with our leader. You have absolutely nothing. You are just saying those things to catch people. For them, you are listening to think, oh, you are a member of IPOB or you are, you are close to Mazenam. You are not close to him because you've never seen him face to face. Oh, the meeting you had with him, which meeting? You had no meeting with him. And he warned you. Remember his last word to you. Don't allow demon to enter you. That's the word of a prophet. The demon enter you today or not? You can say whatever you like. From your own mouth, you indicted yourself. All those your things you are doing on your platform. We have the records. Even before Monty them started talking. Even before the people in America, we started getting information, phone conversations, documents to prove the few you people perpetrated. The advice you gave them how to manipulate documents in America to go and open an account. The advice came from you, Simon Ekpa. Not from any other person. It came from you. So that you, they will make you then the head of, uh, the leader of IPOB. Who told you? Who told you? When Mazen Amrikal say we are whiter than white and whiter than snow, IPOB is indestructible. So you don't know what he meant by that. The people who we are with you people to do all those things secretly, they are now out. They are spilling the bean. They are spilling out. They are talking. They are, because they, the conscience, you are still posturing. You cannot uh, submit yourself to DOS. If you can't submit yourself to DOS, you've already said it. You can't submit yourself to Mazen Namdekano. So why should you call him his name on your platform again? Why should you talk about IPV, IPOB on your platform again? Because you are you follow the spirits to go and kill. You follow humans to come for them. It's evil. It's evil. Remember, I warned you. I warned you. You laughed at me. A man who has children that are even older than you. You laughed at me. I shed tears. Elohim is my witness. I shed tears for two nights because of what you have done to Mazen Namdekan. The pain he's going through in the SS custody is the pain you inflicted on him. From your platform, Simon Epa. You never came to apologize. You never came to show that, oh, maybe it was a, you made a mistake. Rather, you come to throw it on us that, yes, Nelly that was expelled, you will continue working with her. So if you continue with, working with a cast angel from IPOB, how are you still? with Mazen Namdekano. How? No, how? How are you still with uh, IPOB? How? You better, sometimes when you come to say things, 
people like us, we, we will be, we keep quiet, we are watching, we are listening. You come, you analyze video of other people, people's actions, people's speeches, the things they say, their intentions. But our own, we are analyzing you with proofs, with indictments, with evidences you provided to us and your cohorts. It's a shame. Your intention, all you people's intention was none they can to be killed in Kenya. That was the plan. The Elohim said, no. The greatest nightmare you people have now as we speak. That's why you people are doing all this your nonsense. Hey, move my in the can from DSS to, to, to correctional distance prison. He's going no, no to correctional prison. He will be released unconditionally from DSS custody. And it's pretty soon. It will shock all of you. And all our barristers, barrister, your former barrister, Lloyd Jimako, if you've ever called Simon Ekwe in the past as a mistake, let it end. Never you go to visit our leader to come out to call him or to discuss anything with him. Number one, he's not a member of IPUB. Number two, he's not under oath. Number three, you people saw on his platform, he, he planned a queue, executed that queue on his platform against Mazin Namdekan and the IPUB. Is it because they did not succeed? What if if they succeeded? We wouldn't have been saying this today. And all of you that say you are followers of Mazin Namdekan, he told you people, only one source of information, one source, Radio Biafra. Anything you don't hear on Radio Biafra, don't take it. You don't jump from platforms here and there. You know, looking for information. I don't even know the information you people are looking for. That you cannot get on Radio Biafra. People broadcast there in the morning, afternoon, evening. So, all of you that conspired to destroy Mazen Namdekan, destroy IPOB, I'm sorry for you people. You see this journey of restoration of Biafra. Biafra is already here. No matter whatever all of you will say or do, it cannot change what God has already ordained. So, Epa, keep doing whatever you are doing. But I beg you, please, the earlier you stop talking, you see, on your platform, if DOS give order about sit at home or whatever, don't even say it. Don't repeat it on your platform. Don't repeat it. It doesn't really, nobody needs your media, whatever. These are, there is nothing you will say there that will change or add anything to what DOS have said. Your followers, all those, your social media rats that are running around attacking people, causing DOS, causing this one, causing this one. Because they want to defend you. Defend you on, on what? No, on what? If you are Jesus Christ's disciple, he tell you, oh, leave what you are doing to follow me. Then a true disciple will leave what he is doing to follow the master. Not telling the master, no, 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 I can't follow you. You see, the reason why I can't go with you is because of, uh, you know, this my platform, my this and that and that and that. So, Anybody who sees this video, share it. And also, save it. Save it. The reason why I say save it is letter, letter. When our leader comes out, and then maybe his action or whatever, because you people know that he's not the talking type with all these uh, little, little people who wants to come to try him out to sabotage this struggle. Like what he did to Uche before. His closest... Even the second in command, never for one day he said a word about him. So Simon Eku, if you think Mazen Amdekanu will come out of DOS, DSS and then embrace you and say, oh, come, you've done a good job. Uh, you see, you try to use your platform to sabotage this uh, struggle. You, you conspired with Nelly them and handed me over to the enemies. And you continued to take over what I built, sacrifice everything. Oh, come, come, come. You have done well.
you must be a fool. You must be a fool to think that that Mazen Amdekan will come out and have anything to do with you again on earth. You must be a fool. That's why I say, whoever that sees this, just save it, share it. So that when the time comes, when our leader, he will come out soon. And all these COVID-19 idiots that jumped into IPOB without following due process, without submitting themselves to the constituted authority by Mazen Amdekan, without even proving that they are truly a disciple, not somebody come and cha 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 oh, I'm a disciple of Mazen Amdekan, I'm in my spirit and his own, I won. You, are, you lie, you are, you are just an idiot. Just a social media rat making noise. The people who came to your platform, we brought them, they are Biafra, some are Biafra. Or majority, 90%, are Biafra. They are misled because they think, oh, all that gl glitters are gold. They are not. I'm indicting you, direct you, Epa, and your group. Name your favor with them. You people sold Mazin Namdekano. You people to take over IPOB, to destroy, in short, to destroy IPOB because the money was coming from Nigerian government. And you come to come and tell us, oh, Fulani, uh, this and that, nonsense government of Nigeria, blah, 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 blah. And then you want to build the same type of Janjaweed government in Biafra. Sign code of conduct. You say no. Take an oath. You say no. Uh, join your local uh, destiny in Finland. You say no. Mazin Namnikano, still kept quiet. They brought him to Nigeria. He told you, okay, uh, join Radio Biafra. To broadcast, you say no. Giving excuses. So where is that your sacrifice? Tell us. Because all those, uh, oh, do you know? I've been broadcasting this and that. People have been doing all those your nonsense. What you are doing there? Because most of the time I come listen to you all those days when I used to come on your platform. Rather, who contribute to say things to you yourself? You confirm, oh, man. I've learned something from you today. Because you can't teach me nothing. There is nothing you can say there that I will, I will say I've learned new thing or will wow me. No. And there are millions of people like me. Millions of us. So forget to his little, little boys and girls, you know, children. That are when they get that, they are all over social media, you know, war, blah 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 blah. Those are the people you can deal with. Not people like us. I carry the scars of first Biafran war on me. Where were you then? Perhaps you are not even conceived in your mother's womb. So, what do you think? Over the years, before I even traveled to abroad, where were you? You weren't even born. So, what do you think you can say there that will war people like us? But they Difference is the first day you brought Nelly. Go and read. The com you cannot say you did not see my comment and my messages more than 20 times. I begged you. I told you, this woman, if you don't disassociate yourself with this woman, unless you have something else with her, this woman will sow a seed of division. A destructive seed. A woman who never showed her face on any platform. That's the person you embraced and you come back to tell us after her expulsion from IPOB. Namdekano gave order for her to be expelled. Completely. You still want to tell us, oh, you, you, still, you are going to work with her. And you are still talking about Biafra. Please, stop it. Stop it. Don't even mention anything, Biafra. Anything IPOB, anything Mazin Namdekano, or anything DOS says you want to carry it to your platform to continue holding, you know, gullible little boys and girls, confusing them, or to say, oh, maybe you are adding. You are adding nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The damage you have caused in IPOB is if from generation to generation, it will stay to haunt you. And your generation. Because you don't, if you think you are, what is it? 
You disparage DOS, you insult them, you insult considered authority. When you insult DOS, you are insulting Mazin Lambicano. No two ways about it. Now, all of you, you've turned back to repeat my slogan. I told you people. Mazin Lambicano is DOS. DOS is Mazin Lambicano. The two, they are is like Trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They tell you all three gods in one. The same way with Mazin Lambicano and DOS. Now, some of you, your eyes have, have cleared. But that initial time, I remember some of you in private forums. You insulted me, isn't it? You insulted me. So me and you now, who is right? Me and you now, who, who knows more Namdekano more than the other? You and me now, who is more formidable than the other? Make gonna calm down, retrace your steps. That road you people are running into, there is nothing there. Go back. Go back to Radio Biafra, morning, afternoon, night. Go back. And some of you that are Biafrans that went on different, different platform and opened your mouth to say evil thing, bad thing, attack the OS. You better start coming out now to be apologizing because we have all your records. And when our leader comes out, we are going to table it to him. No matter whomever you are, you cannot attack the U.S. Then you shove it away and then go away. Think, uh, oh, the case has ended. No, it hasn't. Until you come and make, you see what Omote did. I respect her a lot. I respect Omote. When she was doing her own gaga gaga, I also called her privately. I said, stop that nonsense you are saying there. DOS is not one person. You can't, if you attack DOS, you attack, you are attacking Mazin Namdika and we are hurting our leader. Oh, Mazin, leave me. No, 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 Blah, 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 blah. Today, you see her coming to apologize. Revealing what they, has been going on. Private security. Did I know those things? But yet, me and them that we are involved, I wasn't involved, but God revealed things, and because of it, I told him, I said, please, don't go this way, don't say this, don't, don't. Today, everybody, they are retracing their step, you know, talking, evidence is coming out, documents, phone calls. It's not all that glitters are good, that's why people like us, we don't come on social media every day, every time. Things will keep going on, no, but once we, something happens, we will come, drop, say, please, this is how this thing is. This is how Mazen Nam Dekan takes decision on social things. This is how he thinks. Don't do this. If you do this, you are hurting him. You are hurting this movement. You are drawing it back, backwards, and our leader will not be happy with you. People will attack us and say, oh. They keep at all, oh, blah blah blah. You are this, you are blah blah. You get out here, this and that and that and that and that. Oh, you, oh, no, 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 could be your, you know, more than Namik and you love him more than every other person. You lie, you lie. Being resolute and being formidable is you behaving like our leader, thinking like our leader. One chain of command, one command. Mazen Namdekana doesn't give special status. Oh, this one, I will give you special status. He doesn't do that. What is applicable to A is applicable to B. That's the Biafra we want to build. And that's how it's supposed to be. Now people coming to tell you, oh, I'm autonomous. I can stay on my platform to do whatever I want. Okay. But when you're still using that your platform to attack the leadership, to attack Mazen Namdekan, to backstab him, to sabotage him, the effort, causing confusion, causing trouble. It's not about followership. No. IPOB, one family, one family, IPOB, under one command, Mazen Namdekan slash DOS. All of you that insulted them, come out now. You better start coming out to apologize. It doesn't matter whether you are a private person, but when those things happen, you open your mouth to attack the OS once. 
to say, oh, they are stupid. Oh, we don't want to obey them. If truly you are Mazin Namdekano's disciple, if truly you love Mazin Namdekano and for Biafra to come, come out now and start apologizing. Start retracing your steps. Some of you in Holland, in America, in Europe here, in Nigeria, all over the world, you all know what you said. No matter the platform, you said it. You see, no matter, we keep records. That's why there is a, a set of people, you people don't even know them. They are gatekeepers. You don't know them. They are the gatekeepers. When something wrong is going to happen, they will come and tell you initially, say, please, follow this way. Don't go, or, or that please, 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 please. You will insult them after insulting them. When you must have messed yourself up, you will still come back to the same thing. They warned you, but the damage, you've already done it. It has to stop. All of you, start coming out. All of you that collected money. You see that money? From Nelly of Fable. On all your platforms, I do call in. I do appear there. I do say, you know, encourage you privately. You better come out. No matter how you play that game. You better start coming out to open your mouth to say, oh, you, we are sorry. You are sorry to having attacked the OS. For having suspected so so person to have to have, because all those your nonsense, nine you people are we are accusing oh he ate money, he hold money. Even initially, me then I gave her two weeks to return IPOB money if she's in her position. I called, I said I gave her two weeks. I called on some platforms. I said, no, no, if you're holding ESM money, I give you two weeks to bring out that money. If you bought a house, go and sell that house, return it. I never attacked her to say she's a thief or this or that. I say if you have a ESM money, return it. I give you the next two weeks. And within that next two weeks, she came to Radio Biafra and clarified things. And some of you are still peddling all sorts of nonsense lies and whatever, thinking you can outsmart other people. And you sometimes you claim, oh, you are closer to you are close to Mazen Namdekan. The information you people use to pedal around to attack. Where did you get that information from? From Nelly of Fable? <laughs> from Nelly of Fable? No other place. From Nelly of Fable because she was the access recovery person. That was her job. So she might have sent money to you people. You collected money and told you, oh, you see, this woman ate money. It is an ESM money. He is there. Uh, they, this thing we did, uh, fundraising, da 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 blah, 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 blah. So wh why don't you ask yourself if Nenayanya stole money? But she came to Radio Biafra to tell you people, bring the evidence where she stole the money or where she kept the money you people were accusing her. ESM money or whatever goes to America. It doesn't go to Germany. Whatever that is in her position or whatever, may, may, probably she's holding it because they want her to move whatever in her position to take to Nelly them in America so that they will scrape IPOB, make sure that ESN is gone forever. That's why our leader, she knows, he knows. He would have told the so sack Nenanya, reliever of her duties. Did they sack her? No. Why did she appear on Radio Biafra? Hello, platform. Why? Did Nelly appear on Radio Biafra for one single day? No. Rather, she was running around on social media with Simon Epa and Co. Perpetrated the queue. Went and forged Mazin Namdekano's signature in America. Those ones have legally, we've started, you know, to try to see how we even, some individuals are going to issue leg, legal whatever to put them in jail because they are living in a western world not in nigeria where you go and forge you know anybody's signature Luwale, to go and do anything nobody gave them the authority our leader never gave them barrister jaffa never gave them uh lawyer jimako never gave them dos chike dgm never gave them they record we have it yeah 
the secretary of our leader, they were attacking. Oh, Caroline, Caroline, you, you saw that our leader from Nelly. Caroline, Akata, a little girl. A little girl that has not even been to Nigeria. She doesn't even know anything about Nigeria. That's the person that will sell our leader. Abby, a Nigerian government gave her money. Akata, yeah, you know, pure American, born in America, bred or in. She hasn't even been to Nigeria or whatever. That's the person that will sell mass in America. Abby, all the whole lies, all the whole shenanigan. Where did it end today? Where did it end today? All of you, yeah, keeping your body as if oh, you didn't know what happened. Oh, nothing happened. Mazen Namdekan is disappointed in most of you. Some of you that come on social media and rant and your disciple, your follower, your this, your Mazen Namdekan, you love him, you cry, you come and shout, oh, they are killing us. Oh, that I will do everything to bring him out. You rant and rant and rant and rant and rant and rant. Tell us what you have done in the secret. Rather, you plan Q. To destroy what he built. May Chiku Kikabiyama bless all of you. Please share this video. Share it. Let it get to everywhere. Save it also. Save it also. So Simon Epa, answer that question. Why did our leader not give you a topic to broadcast on your platform since you said it? Why? Why? When you come, you post hey, ta -ta 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 -ta, uh, Mazen and me and him are one spirit. Uh, uh, do you know what I have with Onyen do? Son, you have nothing with Onyen do. Absolutely nothing. Just because he said you use the, you know, to manipulate, to, to catch people. Oh, because he said, oh, listen to Simon Epa, listen to Efe, listen to this person. So be, you capitalize on it. To come and uh, perpetrate a coup because people were thought he must be killed in Kenya. So that uh, all these things that are playing out now, it would have make a whole lot of sense. It would have even people would even be you know say okay, is DOS they are so our leader, everything gone. Had he been the kid Mazenamikani in Kenya? But it didn't work the way you people planned it. There are people, gatekeepers, in the spirit also. The same way Mazen Namnikan is also in the spirit. That's why he will try you to see your, that your loyalty. You've been shouting. A Mazen Namnikan disciple. Go, broadcast on Radio Biafra. Mm -mm. You played your game, oh, your platform. You, uh, they say you lose your platform. Lies from pit of hell. Even the discussion you had with DOS, they kept the thing intact. Intact. And they presented it to our leader. Even the one you did with the coordinator in Finland, they also have it. So don't come. You see IPOB. That's why it's impenetrable. You can play your games. We have had people like you. They came, they passed away. You are nobody. That's why you did not want to take oath. If not, if your heart is pure, you would have under your platform and come and say, okay, all this oath that is causing problem, or this uh, B member that is causing problem, and that uh, people are, you know, talking, talking, talking. Okay, where is the, the coordinator? Or you come to my program, or you go and meet him, you sign, register. Start paying your monthly dues. Then take the oath. You become official. No back door in IPOB. No autonomy. Even that autonomy. When they told it, our leader. <laughs> I, oh, Simon Eva, you are a, a wreck. You are a mess. Autonomy. I'm autonomous. Autonomous in IPOB. IPO, why do we say IPOB one family? One family IPOB. Why? You just come from nowhere. Oh, you're autonomous. Is that the type of Biafra you want to build? 
Oh, you can't sign code of conduct. Even Mazen Namde Khan even signed it by himself. So what is the reason you will give to Mazen Namde Khan you think you can convince him the reason why you did not sign the code of conduct to start broadcasting on Radio Biafra? What is the reason why you give him you did not even register with your local coordinator in Finland? What is the reason why you, you give him? What? You have no reason because Mazen Namde Khan doesn't listen to stories. When he tell you go and do this, you don't know why he say go and do this. You obey. You just go and do what he told you. That's what a true disciple does. You claim you're wise. You went to school. You're a solicitor. But yet you break laws here and there. Reckless. You come on your platform. You are, you know, every night, morning, afternoon, because you are looking for super chat. Stop it. Stop it. Let uh, DOS, I thank you people for what you are doing. Chike Doziem, our leader is, is proud of you. The entire DOS, China Samuru, all of you, and all the Biafran, Radio Biafra broadcasters, you people are doing excellently. Chineke Duunu, may God bless all of you. We don't need all this. Uh, you know, enemy provocateurs or what, what they are that are posturing themselves. They know Mazen Namdekano more than the people who labored with him for years to build this movement to this level. May God bless everybody. Share this video. Please share it. Once you see it, share it and save it. Share it and save it. Please. May God bless everybody. Thank you.